Hey guys, it's me here, Samar here, and today I'm going to be reading a Sugawara Koshi X listener. This one is titled Unrequited Love, and without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Even though I like you, Sugawara, even though I'll never reach you no matter how much I chase you, even though it hasn't gone away, this was difficult. You knew it would be before you decided to do this. The emotions that were bottled up in your heart, ranging from lust to love, sadness, and even to anger. They were all ready to explode, taking form in the hot tears that were streaming down your face, your reddening cheeks, and your reoccurring, reoccurring whine in your voice. I don't want to be defeated by love. The boy's eyes soften at your sudden outburst. His stands, he stands a few feet away from you, awkwardly holding a homemade gift of chocolate that you gave to him just a few moments ago, before you began crying hysterically and admitted your love for him. A love that he couldn't return. The sky above your heads appeared heavy and ashen, a sure sign of rain. But you weren't finished telling him what you had stored inside for almost two years. And you promised yourself that you would, sure that he would would have changed his heart. More sure that he would have changed had a change of fuck, sorry. Sure that he would have had a change of heart if the time you had confessed to him was different. First name I, I told you already. I know, Suga. I, I know. You ball out. Your hands come to wipe, or come to your face to wipe off the tears that have been clouding your vision. He rubs the back of his head, not understanding your reason for not accepting no as an answer. This was too difficult for him. The boy was almost too nice when it came to rejection. He almost always left his admirers misunderstanding his sugar-coated words. It gave them hope, hope that they would grasp hope that they would grasp onto and never let go of. You just happen to be another one of those admirers, ever so hopeful, perhaps too hopeful. Then why don't you, you know, back off already? I already told you I can't get involved with girls, or anyone for that matter. The wind wouldn't stop, and it was cold as it hit your legs, buried by your skirt. But not as cold as Suga's words. Back off already, he said. Back off. It made you shiver with despair. He didn't mean that. He was, was he ready to throw away your friendship too? You clear your throat and say to him rather bravely, because even though you won't grasp onto my shaking hands, I won't be defeated by love. He only sighs as he runs his hands through his silver hair, closing his brown eyes in guilt. First name, what does that even mean? C come on, stop being silly. I don't have time to be in a relationship. Partners are so needy and I can't give them what they need. It's better if things stay the way they are. You know that what he said was true. He was busy with club activities and exams. He didn't have time for you. This was nothing personal. He was just being honest. Also, I can't accept this. Sigur refers to your heart-shaped slab of chocolate wrapped in a cellophane bag in his hands. He waves it around carelessly. If I did, it would give you hope. You would think that maybe I could change my mind about your confession again, but I won't. So here, take it back. Ah, how hard you worked on that gift for him. You even went as far as to buy a cookbook from the store, and then request someone to buy the ingredients for the homemade chocolate that you had made for him. He would appreciate it more if it was handmade, he thought. The sweet substance could win him over, laced with sugar and love. Even after the hours of painstaking work, you ended up <coughs> with an impressive and edible masterpiece. White chocolate tinted the pink lines of the edges, and his name was written in the middle, in white. He's going to love it, and he's going to love me. I won't back down like last year. Second time's a charm. Come on, don't make this harder than it has to be, first name. Why can't you try, Sugawara? Just try. Try it for me. You shouted at him, angry, seeing him carelessly handle your gift that you carefully made for him. How could he disregard the labor that you put into it? The wind seemed to escalate along with your mood, and sudden gust of wind had, wiped, had whipped, your hair, whipped your hair over your face. He senses that he had been wrong to mishandle the gift, and returns to his previous demeanor. His gentleness was one of the things on the list that made, it, made you fall for him. Why do you keep insisting this? I can't do what you want me to do. It doesn't work. Please face it, first name. Your love is unrequited, and it will never be anything else. He sniffled. Keep the chocolate, at least. I made it for you, and I I don't want it back. If I do, will you promise to never speak of this again, first name? Sigawara's eyes narrowed slightly. He was ready for this to be over with. 
sparing him with the ache and guilt that he'll feel regardless of what you say. Please, will you take no for an answer? I won't. But I will, Suga, for now. You mumble under your breath, still refusing to face facts. The boy sighed, defeated. That's all it is. A stubborn, ugly, unrequited love. Um, yikes. The way he's just like rejected you though that's so sad honestly though i mean people some people like these because it's like more realistic quote unquote so um here you guys go your daily angst that i like to provide sometimes i read these kind of things and i don't know but i mean obviously i clicked on this the title said on our credit love so i wasn't expecting anything else but sometimes i'd be reading stories and i'm like wait this is angst shit i didn't even know like i thought it was gonna be fluff but this wasn't one of them <laughs> hopefully you guys liked the angst because i actually really enjoyed reading it and that was fun to like voice act i'm not like really a good voice actor but i still like to just do a little dramatic scene you know what i'm saying anyways i should stop talking thank you guys so so much for listening hope you guys have a fantastic day and if you did like the video make sure you subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get notified every single time i post a video and also um tap the like button because that is something for the youtube algorithm and i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye